Hello, this is Abhishek Goenka. Today I will be talking about ORM, that is Object Relational Mapping. Our today's agenda has following topics. First would be what is ORM. Then we will be discussing about a list of ORM tools, free versus commercial, different approaches of ORM. Also, we will be doing the comparison of top three ORM tools and obviously uh, code walkthrough. So first, what is ORM? The full form of ORM is Object Relational Mapping. Object Relational Mapping can also be written as ORM or O slash RM or O slash R mapping. So basically this is a programming technique for converting data between incompatible type system in object oriented programming language. We have a table in our database. One way of fetching the data is classic ADO.NET approach. Once we fetch the data in the format of data table and then we have to iterate through all the rows and uh, do our own stuff. But object relational mapping is the feature which is given to us which will convert our existing table in the database to the object oriented world. So basically what it does is this creates in effect a virtual object database that can be used from within the programming language. There are both free and commercial packages available that performs object relational mapping although some programmers adopt to create their own ORM tools. So these are the list of tools available today in the market. First is ADO.NET Entity Framework which is being driven by Microsoft. Second is N-Hibernate which is a very popular uh, ORM tool and was there in existence from long back. And Hibernate is the tool which got extracted from the Java. If, if you are familiar with Java language, you must be knowing that Hibernate was the pro, uh, popular ORM tools which was used widely in Java. So developers created, or I should say open source community created a similar kind of tools for the, to support a .NET platform. So that we are calling as an Hibernate which is an obviously an open source and uh, third one is open access ORM which is being given by Terlik. It is free as well as commercial. Free is because the use of this tool is free but if, if you need support then you have to buy that support. But, the, but you can use the tools freely without any charges. So after that um, there are various tools. I will not be going through through all the tools because if you are aware of top three tools then obviously you can uh, use any other tool without any problem. One thing here I would like to point out is Persistent.net. Persistent.net is also a, one of the uh, famous ORM tool. Okay, let's compare uh, between top three ORM tools. So what uh, I have taken is I have taken top three tools. One is Entity Framework which has been given by Microsoft and another is Hibernate and uh, third one is open source ORM which is given by Terlik. The entity framework supports 3.5 with service pack 1 onwards and uh, currently it is also available as a part of 4.0 framework and current version which is released few months ago it was 5.0 and Hibernate which supports 2.0 service pack 1 onwards and it's an open source tool and the current version is 3.3.1 open access ORM which is given by the uh, Terlik company which supports platform from .NET 2.0 onwards and it is free as well as commercial the latest version which we are seeing is uh, second quarter of 2012 that is 2012.2 okay, these are the different approaches for the ORM first approach is model first approach second approach is code first and third one is data data first so if you are dealing with a new database then you might have to go for the model first or code first approach based upon your needs if you are using existing database then you would like to prefer data first approach or code first approach it's all uh, based upon your project plan and project needs Okay, this is the feature comparison between top three ORM tools and you will see that most of the um, 
circles are green in case of open access ORM because these are the things which is supported in open access ORM and TT framework supports few of the features but the path of the development looks very promising and in soon it will be supporting many of the features which currently are not supported today. Now if you look to the Nhibernate, it supports almost all the features in compared to open access ORM and uh, there are few few more features which still no, needs to be developed. Now uh, let's see with the database support. So ORM access supports uh, almost all the databases which are currently uh, in the market whereas entity framework supports only Microsoft databases and uh, and Hibernate is also supporting almost all the databases. So if you compare open access o ORM versus and Hibernate then it looks a little bit similar whereas entity framework is far behind from these two ORM tools. Let's go to the code walkthrough. Okay, here I have created three different projects which explains how uh, entity framework can be used and Hibernate can be used and open access ORM can be used. So uh, before we start digging into the code, let me first remind you that we, here we are using the uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 with Nordfint database. Okay, let's first see entity framework. Um, okay what we have done in entity framework so 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 <coughs> in in order to use entity framework first we created the model classes these are the model classes that we created and uh, we have created our own context extended from the db construct and okay what we have done is we have created the object of uh, northwind context that is our data context and uh, this is the common LINQ statement and to retrieve the data. We are not doing any fancy stuff. I have written the code to uh, get all the records from the data table and also to add a new new data to a data table and update the existing ones and delete the record what we have inserted. So that was the code is doing. It's a normal code what I have written. It is not at all complicated and uh, I am sure you will be able to understand it once you start looking into the code. The main part of this code is the data context, how to create a data context that what we defined in the models. So now let's go to the nHibernate demo. So nHibernate contains the same kind of logic what we what we wrote in the entity framework. The, uh, the only difference is the mapping. nHibernate uh, provides two kind of mapping one is the one is through the code and one is via xml so so here i have used the xml mapping and this is how we are doing we have created the properties of the same name what we are using in our database this is and mapping will contain all the mapped objects okay this is how the code is and let's go to the open access orm open access orm also contains the same kind of logic add modify delete the, the only difference what we see is in model that is uh, entity dot r q which creates a mapping this is how the mappings are created so i will be attaching the source code along with the presentation at the end of the slide and uh, i will share the url with you so that you can go through the source code and please let me know if you have any further questions so now let's back go back to that slide again and so <clears throat> what we conclude here Microsoft is heavily investing in developing entity framework and in the past couple of years five iteration has been released it is the most actively developed and well optimized ORM library that plays well in any of the dotnet technologies the future of the entity framework looks very promising as the big boss of Microsoft is driving it so also a lot of help is developer over the net regarding entity framework. Having it is more mature, feature rich and ported from Java has proven its viability over the years and the multitude of the series project based on it. It offers very clean and separated approach. That's what we saw in the demo. It also allows the mapping from the XML 
which is a kind of a separated approach. The only side effect of Nhibernate is that it is little bit complicated in compared to Entity Framework and Open Access ORM. Open Access ORM. Open Access ORM is free, as I told you, for all kind of databases. And the only disadvantage what I see in ORM is that uh, the support is not free. It's now completely your choice. Do you want to go with ORM or Entity Framework or Nhibernate? So whatever the difficulty that we get during our mapping is also referred as object relational impedance mismatch. With this, I will end my presentation. I hope you all have liked this presentation. Below, I have shared my email address as well as the source location of the code. Please mail me in case you have any questions. Thank you.